Mheshimiwa Mita mwenyekiti wa kampuni za Bati Airtel Mheshimiwa Chief Secretary Mheshimiwa Waziri Kabodi wa wakilishi wa Tanzania wote mlio shiriki kwenye mazungumzo haya na wakilishi wa kutoka Bati Airtel pamoja na Airtel na ndugu viongozi wote mliohudhuria hapa awali ya yote leo ni siku muhimu sana katika uwekezaji katika nchi yetu ni siku muhimu sana na ndio maana napenda kumshukuru sana chairman ndugu meta pamoja na viongozi wenzake wa bati yetu kwa kuamua kuja kukubali kwa sababu wasingekubali nafikiri tungekuwa tumefikia mahali pabaya na hii wala sio siri lakini wamekubali na sisi tukawa na timu yetu na napenda nishukuru sana timu ya Tanzania umefanya kazi nzuri ikiongozwa na profesa Kabodi na ndio maana katika mazungumzo haya yamechukua zaidi ya miezi minane <coughs> nazungumza fanye hivi nazungumza miezi minane mpaka imefikia haya makubaliano mimi napenda kuwashukuru pande zote kwa kufanikisha mazungumzo haya ongereni sana ongereni sana lakini nasema huu ni mwanzo mzuri katika uwekezaji katika nchi yetu shirika la airtel limekuwepo lilianzishwa zaidi ya miaka tisa iliyopita na katika kipindi hicho chote hatukuwahi kupata faida hata senti tano kila siku tulikuwa ni hasara kila siku faida kwetu tulikuwa hatupati gawio tulikuwa tunapata gawio zero kwa hiyo katika kipindi cha miaka minane tisa pamoja na kwamba tulikuwa na share hiyo ya 40 hatukupata gawio tulipata sifuri zero sasa ukishakuwa na biashara ambayo kwa kipindi cha miaka minane tisa hujapata chochote ujue ilikuwa ni biashara mfirisi na ndio maana tulipoingia madarakani tumeliona hili tukalalamika tukasema hapa lazima tuje tuzungumze ndio maana nashukuru mazungumzo yameenda vizuri sana na katika situation ya win win situation tumekubali na ndio maana share yetu imepanda kutoka 40% mpaka 49% maana yake umiliki wa shirika la Airtel umeongezeka mpaka asilimia 49% na wenzetu bati Airtel ambao walikuwa na asilimia sitini umiliki wao umeshuka mpaka kufikia hamsina moja hii ndio biashara tunayoitaka Tanzania lakini pia wamejikomiti na wamezungumza kwamba katika kipindi cha miaka mitano watakuwa wanatoa bilioni moja moja kwa mwezi si ndio per month 1 billion t shilling wanatoa kila mwezi katika kipindi cha miaka mitano 
Lakini pia chairman amezungumza yeye mwenyewe kwa kuguswa kwamba atatoa USA dola milioni moja iperekwe kwenye miradi ya kijamii kama ni shule, kama ni hospitali, kama ni nini. Ili kasaidie. Na mimi hapa nataka ni mwereza chairman makao makuu ya Tanzania yako Dodoma. Tulishamua zile fedha tulizo tulizo zisevu kwenye sherehe za uhuru ambazo zilikuwa bilioni moja tishri zijenge hospitali Dodoma. Kwa hiyo na hizi ambazo ni dola milioni moja ambao ni almost 2.35 billion tishiring azitoa ziende huko moja kwa moja kwenda kujenga hospitali ya Dodoma kwa hiyo hospitali ya Dodoma itakuwa na budget ya bilioni 3.5 ngapi point 3 point something huko kutokana na exchange rate ya dola leo na hii tunafanya ili kusudi ndugu Mita Rakija siku nyingine Dodoma aenda akajione na hiyo hospitali aidha ikiwe inajengwa au imeshakamilika lakini pia ndio maana nilikuwa naulizea sana ile percentage patakuwa na calculations ambazo tutakuwa tunapata faida katika share yetu ya 49% patakuwepo na percentage ya fedha ambazo but pamoja na Airtel katika 51 na 49% ile faida itakayopatikana itagawanywa na amezungumza na mwamba amezungumza kwamba percentage hiyo zitapatikana almost 20 billion t shilling na hizo zitagawanywa katika share hiyo na kwa sababu sisi tuna 49% maana yake tutapata almost billion 9 na hii itakuwa inaendelea paka itakapobadilika baadaye katika faida tunayoipata. Kwa hiyo unaweza ukaona shirika ambalo lilikuwa linatoa zero mwaka wa kwanza, zero mwaka wa pili, zero mwaka wa tatu, zero mwaka wa nne, zero mpaka miaka tisa yote tunapataka zero. Sasa tutakuwa tunapata kitu kinaingia pale. Na ndio maana nasema huo ndio uwekezaji ninaoutaka ambao unatoa matunda mazuri kwa Watanzania. Hongereni sana Airtel, hongereni sana kwa hiki ambacho kimefanyika. Na ndio maana mimi nimefurahi. Ninawapongeza sana wote mliohusika. Na kwa upande wa Tanzania na wahusika na wapongeza kwa sababu mlivumilia katika kipindi cha miezi minane kunegosieti na wenzetu wa India ambao profesa amesema walikuwa wagumu kweli, very difficult lakini wamekuwa flexible inaonekana mmetumia maneno mazuri ya kuwafanya mkubaliane nao lakini na ndugu chairman naye alisema wa Tanzania walikuwa very difficult <laughs> kwa hiyo mmefikia mahali mkawa wote flexible na mkafikia kwenye solution hii hongereni sana congratulations kwa kazi kubwa mbele lakini hili ni somo pia kwa Watanzania. Kwamba serikali inapolaramika kitu huwa hailaramiki kutoka hewani. Na bahati nzuri wa Tanzania, Tanzania na wasomi wazuri mno. Ila tulikuwa hatuwatumii. Tunawapuuza. Sasa uwe ni mwanzo wa sisi viongozi tulioko serikalini kuanza kuheshimu wataalamu wetu tusipowaheshimu tutaendelewa kulaliwa na katika makubaliano haya 
madeni yote yaliyokuwa yameingizwa kwenye airtime yote yamefutika kwa hiyo tunaanza na airtel mpya we are starting with the new airtel yenye vision ya kutengeneza faida na hili ni gumu kwa sababu madeni hiyo kuna daiwa airtel ilikuwa kwenye tune ya trillion more than how much 1 trillion approximately 3 shillings zilichomekwa humo lakini katika mazungumzo haya everything is fine we are starting a new page ndio maana i really congratulate you mr chairman and your group the vice chairman airtel but air but also i congratulate the group tanzanian experts under the leadership of professor kabod and the others who have managed to reach this stage this is the direction i want this is the type of investment i need in this country investment where we will have some profits on the win win situations tanzanians are supposed to get something so that we can cover the problems of health education and so on and the investor is supposed to get something so that we move together and that is the business i don't want the business of losses to me the definition of loss is not a business Kwa hiyo mimi leo namshukuru Mungu na washukuru wa Tanzania walituvumilia hili lakini na washukuru sana wataalamu. Ninyi mmewakilisha wa Tanzania wanyonge ambao mali zao zimekuwa zikizulumiwa kila siku. Hili ni ushindi kwa taifa letu. Ni ushindi mkubwa kwa watanzania. Ni ushindi mkubwa kwa Airtel ni ushindi mkubwa kwa uwekezaji kwa mtu mwingine angeweza akasimama akasema Tanzania haitaki uwekezaji lakini ni the reality Tanzania tunataka wawekezaji na ndio maana tuna center kabisa Tanzania Investment Center inayoongozwa na ndugu Mwambe pale Tunataka wawekezaji they are supposed to come quickly Tanzania political is stable geographical is fine environment is good everything is fine na watu wake ni wapole We need investment but the true investment kwa sababu tunafahamu advantage ya investment kwa sababu airtel ime create employment kuna employees ambao wanafanya kazi airtel na tunataka vijana hao wakina mama na wakina baba na waendelee kufanya kazi na wanapata mishahara hicho tunahitaji wapo wafanya kazi wanaosimamia minara zaidi ya elfu moja na ishirini wanapata pesa ni ajira wapo watu wanaouza vocha ni ajira wapo watu wanaotuma pesa ina facilitate mambo kwa hiyo mlolongo mzima wa investment ambayo inafanywa na wenzetu at the end inakuja kuwasaidia watanzania hicho ndicho tunachotaka 
Kwa hiyo ni matumaini yangu katika kipindi hiki ambacho mmefanya agreement na mimi nimeshuhudia na ninaamini ni agreement nzuri kwa sababu ina direction nzuri ya kuanzisha a new airtel itaendelea kuleta manufaa kwa pande zote nzuri kwa hiyo Mr Chairman I just want to assure you that Tanzania is the best place for investment. We need investors. We need you. Because through investment, you can create employment. The government can collect revenues. The advantage is more than the disadvantages. So we need investors. But the investors are supposed to be the true investors. You have decided the best thing, that 49% share will be under the government of Tanzania. This means that it will be controlled by 55 million populations of Tanzanians. The remaining 51%, it will go to BAT Airtel. So the difference is only two. If we can change the 1%, then the percentage is going to be 50-50%. So this is a good start. And you have mentioned here clearly that from now onwards we will be getting the dividends. The past history of nine years of getting zero dividends is gone. Through this promise, that's why I can see the future of Airtel. I can see the future of investment as far as telecommunication is concerned. We need to build this country. We need to change the directions. We need to change the directions of considering Tanzania as a corrupted country. We want to build this country fighting corruption fighting over invoicing and all other dirty things. We want to have a new country. So I'm sure, Mr. Chairman, you are going to be our ambassador to tell everybody that Tanzania is the best place for investment. You are telling me that you will be traveling to Davos and so on. Tell them this story is a successful story. You have seen it on your own. We need investors, and Tanzania is the best place for investment. So I thank you again for taking your time, and probably your energy for the last four days. But I think that we have reached the place where things now will start moving in the positive direction. Thank you very much. Ndugu zangu ninawashukuru sana ninaitakia Airtel mafanikio mema Mungu aibariki Airtel Mungu awabariki wawekezaji na watanzania wote na Mungu aibariki Tanzania Watanzania endeleeni kusimama imara Hii ni nchi yetu ni lazima kila tutakachokuwa tunaingia kwenye uwekezaji lazima tupate faida na huu uwe mfano wa watanzania wote katika maeneo yao mbali mbali kufikiria positive kwa kila kitu wanachokifanya katika maeneo yao tukienda kwa njia hiyo Tanzania itakuwa Tanzania kweli kama jina lake lilivyo na watatikia mafanikio mengi lakini kwa kweli leo nimefurahi sana na hata kwaano kuingia moyo kwani nilikuwa najaribu kuzungumza kidogo asanteni sana Mungu awabariki sana